rendering with this lens is more artistic and it is unimportant for the employer to see his project through this lens. But having some renders with different lenses between our renders is not bad. And we have to avoid the routine outputs a little. There are various lenses which can be mentioned as fisheye and panorama. Hello, we are Mimvis and today we want to talk about the fisheye lens. We have already produced a tutorial on panorama rendering, which we recommend you view from the link above. Let's go through the steps together. The first step is to create a camera in the right place. I imagine a CCTV camera has been installed here and looks at the room. Therefore, to create a camera, we go to the Create menu, select Corona Cam and click and drag to create it. Let's see the camera angle in the floating viewport. In the front view, we raise the camera as high as possible. We also raise the target higher for a better view of the room. The next step is to choose a camera lens. Select the camera, click on the Modify tab, and click on Fisheye from the Projection tab. Let's see the result. As you can see, our lens works perfectly. If we want to remove the circular mode, select the full frame option in the cropping section. In this way, we can have a complete frame. By changing the numbers, you can see different results and get a better output. Well, let's take the rendering and check the output together. The rendering is finished and we can see how this type of output can be created with the help of the fisheye lens. You can see that a wider angle can be rendered with the help of this lens. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you and that you get great results from it. Be sure to subscribe and support us with likes and comments. I appreciate your support. God bless you.